They were dangerously close, and now the NTSB and the FAA are investigating who's to blame for this near collision. Close calls like this usually come down to either pilot or controller error. Yeah, he was real close, sir. Audio revealing tense moments between the pilot and air traffic controllers when two commercial airliners nearly collide midair over Newark Airport last month. AC-4100, traffic off your right. Do you have any signs? Same, same usual. The controllers directing a United Airlines Boeing 737 to land just seconds before a smaller express jet was cleared for takeoff on an intersecting runway. The larger jet nearly on top of the plane when controllers tell it to circle the airport. Okay, yeah, we'll put the nose down. And, uh, yeah, he's real close. At its closest point, the aircraft only 50 yards away from each other. Only about a half a football field. That express jet should have been held in essentially the ready to go position until the 737 had cleared that cross runway and made a safe landing and then taken off. The clearance for the express jet to take off never should have been given. This is the second time in recent weeks United Airlines has been involved in a nearly catastrophic collision. In April, a Boeing 757 flying over the Pacific nearly collided with another aircraft after climbing to the altitude controllers assigned them. The aircraft forced to plunge 600 feet in seconds. I'm looking down the aisle and there's, you know, hundreds of people in front of me. People start screaming. There's noises of things that weren't secured falling around. Where the error lies in these most recent near disasters, still under investigation. All right. Now, as it relates to the New Jersey case, uh, there was no damage reported to either aircraft. And as far as the people on board, thank goodness, no one injured.